Hey everybody, this is Dylan Robinson with Pam Robinson Real Estate. Have you ever wondered what you need to do to start the buying process? Uh, if you have questions, are there things like, man, how do I get pre-approved? How do I start looking at homes? What do I need to do to be a homeowner? Well, stay tuned. Today, I'm gonna give you five tips to get you started. Okay guys, here's tip number one. Now, the first thing that I think that you need to do whenever you're ready to start going and looking for the home that you wanna purchase, go get pre-approved, okay? Number one, it's going to tell you how much your actual buying power is. It's gonna start the process, but to me, the most important reason to go get pre-approved whenever you're ready to start looking is so that you can pull the trigger whenever you actually find the home that you're ready to purchase. You don't wanna wait an extra 24, 48 hours while it's still on the market and somebody else could be making an offer. Be prepared and be ready to make that offer, and you can do that by getting pre-approved with your lender. Call a lender today. They can tell you exactly what they're gonna need to get you pre-approved. Couple of things to have on hand, your last two years of tax returns, your last two months of pay stubs. They may need more than that. They may not need that right away. But if you're prepared and you go get pre-approved, you're gonna be ready to buy a home before somebody else that hasn't taken those steps yet. Okay guys, so here's tip number two. The thing that I try to get my buyers to understand is it's okay to broaden your search criteria a little bit. Don't get so hung up on the small details, okay? If you come in and you say, I want a house that's 2,000 square feet or more, nothing less than 2,000 square feet, you may miss out on that house that's 1,950 square feet. That might have been just perfect and exactly what you're looking for. So give your realtor the ability to understand what your wants and needs are and what your criteria is, but let them broaden that search a little bit. You don't want to miss out on something just because you only wanted to go three miles from work or five miles from work. An extra two miles, five miles, whatever it may be, gives you the ability to see more homes and find more properties that are gonna actually fit your criteria and what your daily life needs. It's going to allow us to better service you whenever you're looking to buy a home. For tip number three, guys, this is something that I highly recommend for any buyer out there that's going to look at properties. Take notes, okay? I know that sounds like just a basic tip because you can remember what you saw or you know whenever you walked in, I didn't like it. I don't need to take notes about this one, but it's about more than that. By taking notes on what you did and didn't like about a specific house, it's gonna help you identify the things that are actually important. A lot of times you go in and you think, man, this is gonna be really important to me, but once you start looking at homes, you realize maybe that's not as important while this other item is. The other part of that is it's going to let your realtor know what you did and didn't like about those homes. So whenever they're looking for other listings to bring to you for possibilities, they're not going to be wasting your time with things that you've already marked off on your list that you absolutely didn't like about a previous house. That's going to give your realtor the opportunity to find you the perfect home for you and your family. It's also going to help you remember what you looked at. So whenever it's time to make that offer, you remember exactly what you saw. For tip number four, I highly recommend, and I bet every realtor out there would recommend this as well get a home inspection and use a professional, okay? You may walk in and see this house and you know it's perfect and you want it, you've made your offer, it's been accepted, now it's time to really get down to business, okay? You may think it's perfect, but you can't see through the walls. And that's what your home inspector is there for. They're gonna give you a really good indication of what the roof condition, the electrical, the plumbing, everything that you're gonna to need to know about that house. I like to call it a buyer's user manual for your new home. It's gonna give you a wealth of information to let you know what you need to be thinking about doing in the future, or if it's in great condition, you know that you've got a great house and it's right there and it's ready for you and you're good to go. So whenever you're ready to buy a home and your offer is accepted, get a home inspection and use a professional. Tip number five is more of a statement than a tip. What I really wanna make sure that everybody understands is you can be a homeowner. Whether you think that your credit's too low or you don't have enough money saved for a down payment or whatever the issue is that's holding you back, don't let it. Call a realtor, call your lender, call somebody that has bought a home, it doesn't matter. Talk to somebody and start asking those questions. Home ownership is for everybody and the professionals in the real estate world and the lending world can help you get there. It may be a long process, but we can get you in a home that is perfect for you and your family. All right, guys. So this was my five tips for buyers. Stay tuned for next week where I'll be giving out some seller tips. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It's something new that we're trying. I've kind of stumbled my way through a few of them, but I'm getting there and hopefully you've enjoyed it. 
uh, head over to our Facebook page, Instagram, and give us a like, follow us, and stay tuned for more information on the real estate market and what we can do to help you be a homeowner and find the perfect property. Go to pamrobinsonrealestate.com for all of our listings, and we will see you next week. Hope you enjoyed.